They say laughter is the best medicine, and that's especially true in Grand Rapids tonight. A former firefighter is taking center stage at a comedy club in just a couple of hours. Alex Jokic joins us now with how a terrible tragedy led him to a life of comedy. Hi, Alex. Hi, David. It's been a long, winding road for Travis Howes. While on the scene of a fire in South Carolina, he watched as nine of his firefighter brothers lost their lives. He tells me eight years later, learning how to laugh again saved his, and he wants to share that gift with others. June 18th, 2007. Crews trapped in a flashover. I knew all of them very well. A lifetime of flashbacks for Travis Howes. And I was assigned to the body recovery team that night, and I had to go in and retrieve my fallen brothers. Nine firefighters died in the Charleston Sofa Superstore fire, the most killed in one event since 9-11. I can hear certain sounds, certain smells, and it'll take me right back to that day now. In a way, Howes lost his life that day, too. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, major depression, and survivor's guilt. Surprised to see him like this? Don't be sad. They were Facebook friends. <laughs> you shouldn't be. All right, man. I guess I'll go ahead and start with some jokes. <laughs> the funny man says he got a new lease on life when he realized laughter was therapy. I was a full-time firefighter in Charleston, South Carolina for eight years, man. It, it helps me every single day, every day, because this doesn't go away. What I went through and what I had to experience doesn't go away. You just learn how to, how to manage your emotions better. <laughs> Writing his story from a tragedy into a comedy, hoping to inspire others with struggles to do the same. You certainly don't go in here first. This is what I know. I know how to make people smile and laugh sometimes. Um, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, hopefully. How says it's his mission to give back to first responders, supporting various charities while out on tour. He's performing at Dr. Grin's in Grand Rapids tonight and tomorrow. We'll, of course, post everything you need to know about those shows online at WWMT.com.